Hey, welcome to Tough Guys TV. On this episode, we're going to be unboxing and installing a Tiger Auto T1 roll-up truck bed cover. It's a lot to say. It's gonna be going on our F-150, which will show you the model that we have, because I'm sure these things are different for every truck individually. Um, so we'll show you that, tell you a little bit about the product, and hopefully the install is easy. From what I've seen so far, it looks really simple. Um, so let's get right, right to it and show you what we got. All right, we've got this laid out on our uh, the plywood that we're building our new table onto. And this box is really big. Uh, it comes in the mail. Uh, it's probably about six feet long. Yeah, it's actually a little bit over six feet long. So be ready for that when you get it in the mail. Um, other than that, I'm just going to open it up and we'll take a look at what's inside of it here. So it looks like right inside, um, this might be the cover here. So let's take this out first. The little plastic piece, TRF-1555, these actually look like brackets, so I'm guessing this is maybe how it looks onto the side walls. This looks like maybe the rail covers that go down the sides. We'll get a better look at those here in a sec. This looks like our Tiger Top Row Toe Pro. I don't know, you guys tell me. What do you think that's supposed to say? Who knows? This looks like maybe the instructions. And we've got a Tiger, again, Toe Pro, whatever that means. Checklist here, missing parts. We can kind of see if we've got everything included per what they wanted. So let me spread this out and we'll take a better look. That canvas bag actually was just a bag that's actually holding the entire thing. So that's kind of cool. They, they have it wrapped up and protected. So I guess if you took this off your truck, you could store it. Like maybe you need to put a ladder rack on. Um, these do look like the rails and that one piece unfolded into kind of a step-by-step -step instruction guide. So we'll kind of compare this to what we actually go through when we're putting it on the truck. And then again, I think these are brackets, but we'll verify that here in a sec. All right, we moved over to the tailgate. These are those clamps that we had inside of that pa the little package there. And those are, it shows them on here as we get it. We have six of the TGBC 1002 type clamps that came with ours. Um, just to detail the truck really fast, it's a 2018 F-150. So, and I believe it's the five and a half foot bed. So that's the truck that we are dealing with. It is uh, an XLT. So that's the truck we're doing. Has a bed liner, don't think that matters. Um, also, not sure if it mattered, but we went ahead and cleaned the rails. Uh, we got a little nick right there. I'm not really sure if that matters, but I figured it'd be good to work with a clean surface. So we had some gifts from the local bird wildlife. So anyways, we got that cleaned off and we're gonna try getting this thing going now. Based on the recommended tools, they said you should have a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet, which we've got, and a Phillips screwdriver. This is my 11 away from Klein, so in case I need a number one or a number two, I've got that. It doesn't specify, it just says Phillips. The main instructions right there on the Toe Pro, whatever. Okay, so step one is placing the cover assembly on the front of the truck rail. So we're gonna try doing this here first and just kind of get it all set in place. Okay, the first thing it's wanting us to do is to connect the rail that's underneath this into the side rail here. So this is like the rear rail, the rear rail that goes up against the backside of the truck and they're wanting us to hook these things together. It looks like we'll need to loosen this screw. Not too much to where it falls out, but just enough there. Ah, okay. All right, that's slid together. I'm gonna tighten that back up. And that looks like it's gonna hold the two pieces together in the corner. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And one other thing I noticed really quick is that there's another screw here and that looks to be so I can adjust the length of the entire opening across like the width of this rail along the backside of the truck. It is actually pretty interesting because 
when these two are together, I'm kind of overhanging a little bit here. So I assume I'm gonna end up having to adjust that screw just like this one can adjust to slide the side rails in and out. So we'll see, I might be getting ahead of myself, but we'll keep going. All right, we realized they actually had a foam sealer. Um, we didn't see this actually fall out of the package. So there's a foam seal for along the backside. So what we did was we pulled the rails forward a little bit and we're gonna put this foam down in between this part right here where that little gap goes because that's where it's needed. And you see the thickness of the foam basically fills this indentation for the back rail. So we're gonna put that in now. All right, and here's an up close of where that is kind of putting it in the center based on where this piece is actually gonna sit on the backside. So it just kind of fills in the gap between this and this piece. And then it's got an adhesive strip on the back. And if you just fold that back a little and start it where you want it, and then get yourself a helper to hold the other end, then once you get it where you need to go, you can pull out the seam and get it uh, stuck down there. So we almost missed that, but we got it. So now that we have the rails on, the next step is to position the rear center and then line up the side rails before you put the clamps on and these are those clamps remember so before we do that it wants us to line it up so what i'm trying to get is this edge tight with my truck rail edge i'm probably not saying that right but these need to be aligned with each other before we start clamping it down so that's where that screw that i just showed is going to come into play if the other side isn't aligned see over here it's pretty close, but it overhangs just a little bit. Okay, we got this side lined up nice and tight all the way down. So we're gonna start doing the clamps now. So just to show an overview of these, these clamps. So this piece actually sits on the top. It sits up inside of the rail edge. And then this piece goes up underneath your lip, which I'll show up close here in a sec, but I wanted to show the functioning here. And then this is the nut and you're basically gonna be tightening this thing down. So that's the basic functionality of these clamps. That's how they work. So we're gonna move one and put one here. Okay, so we've got that clamp and inside of the rail, there's a lip. This edge needs to go over that lip. So you have to start by putting it because you can't go straight on. So this has to go underneath first. So angle it. And then you'll see when I feed this through, it sits down in that little lip in there and then I can tighten this on straight. And that's how that would work. Shot to show that lip in there. So you can see that's locked in and it can't come out. There's the lip, goes behind it. And then you can tighten this up underneath the edge of that rail. And I'll pull back a little to see. So it says to place these every six to eight inches, I believe, on the instructions. So six to eight inches of space on each end and then evenly space them. So you want six to eight inches off the back six to eight inches off the front and then space the three clamps down on either side. So we're gonna get all these installed and then we'll come back and see how well this thing feels once these are tightened down. rolled out just per the instructions they say not to tighten all the the clamps down until you get to this stage so the next step is sorry i got mud on this too by the way it's before we tighten it it wants us to check step five which is basically showing you how to engage and disengage the actual uh the actual top so this piece fits into here so we're going to try that really fast see how that goes to latch it down in place All right, and it did latch down, and it actually pulls nice and tight down the sides. Now, keeping in mind, I don't have any of this, uh, I don't have any of the clamps ratcheted down, but it also makes cool kids cave, so that's cool. Uh, check the other side; everything looks lined up and easy. So I'm going to go ahead and, and unlatch, push down on the cover, and then release. 
Here's that release. Pull those. This piece disengages and it folds up for you to roll it back. So we're gonna roll it back up now and then we're gonna tighten down the clamps. Roll it up nice and slow like that. Nice and slow. As there is a time and a place for ye old ratchet, you get yourself an adapter here. Uh, these are from Milwaukee actually. Um, try to find an image of the kit for these. And this actually just goes into my impact driver and it'll hook into sockets. There's a bunch of sizes for different types of sockets, but this basically will hook into my impact driver so I don't have to spend the rest of the night ratcheting all these clips. Okay, we've got all those clamps tightened down. Everything is even up and really nice and holding well. Got dark on us out here, but we do have a shop light outside, so that's helping. One quick note here, there is a tension system, um, and that is actually this thing right here. When I latched that down, it was very, very tight, but not too tight. I felt really happy with it, so I'm actually not gonna adjust this as of right now. If that changes, I may post a follow-up video but there are instructions that do show you how to do this. It looks very straightforward. It basically just slides back and forth depending on how far you set the back rail on there. You may need to adjust that for yourself to have the right amount of tension. Um, one other thing in the instructions is it talks about the Velcro and along this outside of the rail, you have Velcro all the way down and it does have some air in there. I feel like it's just kind of wrapped around inside of this, this metal rail. So I don't feel like it's gonna come out, but as you can see, that Velcro's to this when you roll it out. So um, that's one other thing. And then the last thing on the instructions that they do mention is the cover has some, some clips and some straps, which I also think is really cool. So say you need to use your truck. If you put this in right, you'll have your strap here, which you can tighten and loosen. And around the top, you can see the loop. So all in all, very cool and easy to use. You know, we pick up a lot of stuff from the hardware store, so that's gonna help a lot. So that's where we are so far. All right, and it is all installed. I went through and just kind of pressed down on this to keep it covered up. Make sure I had a good secure um, attachment on the Velcro. You can see those loops there for when you would be securing it up. Overall, I'm very happy um, with the style of this thing and the way it looks. There's their little logo. Looks slick on the truck, looks clean. It's not moving. There's no gaps for water to get in there. You can see the foam seal all the way around and then that piece of foam that we put in the back actually is up underneath here and I can feel it with my finger so water's not going to leak down and get underneath either so all in all this thing is great I'm really happy with it last thing to do would be to just try it out all right so not too bad of an install pretty easy overall um if you guys have any questions put those in the comments for us and you know there may be something that's on your truck that's specifically more difficult or maybe something that's like even easier than the way I did it. Um, don't forget about that piece of foam across the back because we literally almost missed that. So don't forget about that. Um, if you really like what we do, consider subscribing. It helps our channel and helps us be able to keep doing what we're doing. And we love doing these uh, how-to guides and for just anything that we can think of. So if you guys have any requests to put that in the comments for us and otherwise we'll see you in the next project. So peace. Thanks for watching our Tough Guys video. See us in the next project. Yeah. <laughs>